And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of Todd Teaches DDO. We are nearing the end of the Catacombs quest chain for level 3. Um, we are at the eastern catacombs, down at the very bottom of the tower. Um, and I believe that this is where we As you shut the challenge gate Marguerite. You, a great magical barrier rises up out of nowhere. There will be no going back. Okay, so we cannot go back. So we see here Marguerite, who we've been looking for Your and who chased us. Before you is the wraith of Marguerite. Can't Tribe. break those. She watches you but does not attack. So you got some options. You're gonna talk to her. She calls you a fool. You say I'm no one's fool. Um, they say okay. Um, she tells you that he opened the crypts, the Archbishop. Um, and you can say, I thought you opened them. Then you know nothing, Marguerite's eyes flutter. Only the Archbishop can lower the wards. But you control the undead. You wield the power of life and death. Yes, at my father's behest, I found a secret power, Marguerite. Help me unlock it, Marguerite. We can do this together, Marguerite. Father and daughter. He used me and he destroyed me. A crackling nimbus, a sickly light encircles Marguerite's head, ripping, rippling her cloak with an invisible wind. Her eyes blaze. You're talking about the duality. All right, blah, blah, blah. Now he know what to do with me. That's why I must be destroyed. You don't have to die. Of course I have to die. I'm a monster after all I've done. You can leave this place, give it to Holiday, and never return. My father will find me. I'll never stop. He is like a golem, like a machine. He will find me. Okay, go to your uncle, and I'll do the father. So if you do that, um, she'll go, and she can live. Um, otherwise, I believe that you end up having to fight her, but she's not really that tough, so you can kill her pretty easily. Um, now what we got to do is reach the top of the tower and purify the altar there, and then we have to confront the Archbishop. The so to do that, each barrier has to be taken down by killing the undead that kind of protect it, I guess. Not difficult. Um, they'll keep appearing until they don't. Once they stop appearing, the barrier most likely is down and you can move on to the next level. Pretty easy stuff. Let's see, let's get that guy to help us. Let's throw one of these up. And you're gonna have to do this on several floors. So you get some archers that appear on some of them you gotta kill in order to progress things. Then we go back down, kill these guys. Okay, kill these guys. Another archer. So about four waves on each level. And the shrieking of ghouls on the prowl. But at this point, we should all be experts at killing undead. And archers up here. Then back down for another round. Halfling zombie. Between four and six waves on each one. We're nearing the top now. Archer. And back down. Why 
Why did these zombies run up there? Okay. I think this is the last, the last one. Barrier to the Archbishop's chambers lies ahead. The undead here are many and ravenous. Many and ravenous. You just get them all to appear at once because then I would just turn them all but not really that difficult just kill each wave Let's do another one of these and now we have the altar to purify as the altar explodes in a fury of holy energy, the back wall slides open to reveal okay. a secret passage. So, 1000 XP, pretty easy. Um, the final thing we have to do is go through here. This is actually going to be the top of the tower, because now we've come up from the other side. And we get to face off against the Archbishop Dryden. So this is technically a level 4. Make sure that it's the end game one that's checked, and not the Seek Dryden's Council. So end game Archbishop's fate. I go ahead and enter just to finish up the catacombs, even though it's a level four quest. So oh no, I've run out of my hireling. I think I'll survive. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Seek Eternal Rest. Archbishop Dryden stares coldly down at you from his day. Okay, so you talk to him, tell him it's you, thought the destiny, blah blah blah. He's like, I purge you, Arg. So go down here. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go ahead and turn. That gets rid of all the other undead. Now I just got to get rid of that and the Archbishop. I highly recommend that you do this one either very carefully or in a party. Otherwise you're going to get attacked by all these guys, all the undead. Make sure you get that um, caster right away too, otherwise he'll throw some lightning bolts around and stuff. So you gotta be careful with that. So that was the last part, the last quest part of the chain. We'll go ahead and exit that. There's no chest in there. Um, and what happens now is that you're gonna go back out and talk to um, the guy we got the quest chain from back here Friar Renault and he will tell us everything's great Marguerite was here spirit still in this world blah 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 Archbishop will recover um, you are a hero church will never speak of it the flame guards the secrets at all costs trust a sizable reward for you blah 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 the church will deny them okay so I know what it's done is right why is Silver Flame pretend this didn't happen? There's still some things I don't understand. So you can talk to him if you want. Otherwise, click on that one. Um, talk about Marguerite. Um, and then you take your reward. So there's lots of different things in here. Uh, this is the Blade of Inquisition, which is what I was actually using. Um, the new Blade of Inquisition, because I have an old one. It looks like the new one also has an empty red augment slot. So that's not bad. We have a Dagger of Inquisition. Eternal Rest for Monks, Guidance for anyone that shoots uh, crossbows, then there's just some general stuff. There's the Cardinal's Gloves to give you Diplomacy plus 7, Cloak of Asylum, Will Save, Wisdom 1, um, what else? Robe of Duality, um, Armor plus 3, False Life, Arcane Augmentation, so if you're a wizard or sorcerer that one's a pretty good one. Um, Templar's leather, if you wear light armor, and it's not great really. Um, what else? Marguerite's necklace, false life. Um, now this one's a pretty good one. 
a eternal wand of cure minor wounds this is really good because the charges will regenerate um, so if you can use it I would recommend getting this um, I can use it at 30 I have a 30 percent chance to activate I'm gonna go ahead and take that um, just so that I have a renewable healing resource so I'm gonna put that down here with my healing stuff because I have a wand of cure light wounds but this one I can use oh, it's only a one hit point though not fantastic but it's something I can use so I'll, I'll take it if nothing else I can hide somewhere and heal myself as much as possible okay so let's take a look here because I know we've been doing quite a bit of uh, these level threes so let's see how we are on those okay so it looks like we have one two two level threes left they are in an area called tangle root which is part of a large quest chain that goes from level three all the way to level six i believe um, we could probably start that next time so maybe we will do that once we finish up those first two parts of that then we would be taking our level five and starting on the rest of the level four quests so I think that's what's gonna happen that next time um, I'm gonna go ahead and go sell some things here in the marketplace hello general vendor like to trade first let's repair now let's sell don't need that don't need that Okay, I don't think I need most of these things. Belt. Um. Maybe some of these things would be useful. Let's see. I have one of these already. Gerard's ma mail. Not that great. Don't need those. Let's sell those things. Let's sell all my gems off. Sell the potion. Sell the scroll. Sell. Let's open up this. Okay. So dodge plus two. We'll go ahead and do that. And where's the belt? Armor plus three. Let's go ahead and put on that belt. Let's see. Did it help? let's see my armor class does not change when I put on that belt so I'm not gonna worry about that so let's go ahead and change that sell that okay if you look in the inventory I've been picking up these coins which are for something going on called the festival um, I'm gonna try to put those let's see do they go in collectibles no do they go in ingredients no, they don't go in gems. Let's go ahead and throw those in the back then. I don't need those up there. Okay. So it looks like we're good there. Um, I'm going to go back to our airship. Renew the buffs there. Okay, and okay, renewed all our buffs now. Go back out to the marketplace. So um let's see next time we will go and well 
let's see. Those last two quests that we need are in that tangle route. I don't know if we wanna if we wanna just go there right now. We can go there and do those two, but then we're gonna do an episode exploring that. So I guess next time we will go to the House Fiarlin, which is how you get to Tangle Root. So we'll explore one of these houses. We haven't been in any of these yet. So we'll go and explore that, and then we'll go and explore Tangle Root, and we'll get the first two quests done. So join us for that next time, and uh, until then, please check out the other videos on our channel, check out the previous episodes of this series, uh, like, subscribe, all that. Let us know what if you like what we're doing or if you want to see us more do, do more of something. Um, but until then, uh, play games, have fun, and we'll see ya.